second down and goal. Again, they're in the power eye formation as their goal line attack. Strong side, right ball is loose. It's still loose. And a touchback. It'll come out to the 20-yard line. What a wild play. Bernard White fumbled the ball, and Rod Webster finally recovered it just before it went out of the end zone. Well, the big thing here again, Fresno State controlling the line of scrimmage. A good hit. Couldn't see who got his hand on the ball there. Pop rolls three in the end zone. Bowling Green the offensive player almost got it there, but now rolls three, and all of a sudden here comes the defensive player to make a great recovery. Rod Webster, a man on the ball at the right time. So point blank range for an Ohio State score. It's Wells trying to go over the top. And after much deliberation, we will have second down. May have started his leap a little early. Yeah, he might have got out there a little bit early, but that's good penetration by Fresno State. You don't want to be out there on that field too long and get worn down. Wells gets in there. Nice penetration by Orlando Huff there, the all-whack linebacker. That's what you need to make a play at as far as a linebacker. You know, get, give yourself another chance defensively. 15th play on the drive. Does this one work? Fresno State again stacking things up at the goal line. It is going to be third down for Ohio State. This is impressive. I tell you what, I think that was Mr. Huff again. I mean, watch this hit on this play. Watch the linebacker, Hup 49, come in there. See him right there? Boom! And that he got right underneath Wells' pads, and that's the hit you want to put on there. Watch 49 come from the left screen. Got underneath him, stopped his momentum immediately. Reggie Germany reinserted in a game. Let's see if Ohio State tries to go up the middle or looks to the air. This time a quarterback state. And still no signal. Germany says it's a touchdown, but it's going to be fourth down. Fresno State with yet another stop. You know, when you first look at it from up in the box, it looked like he broke the plane, but we don't have the angle that the officials have. Three consecutive stops by the Bulldogs. That's and it. that sets up fourth and one. Boy, this is telling your offense early. We believe in you. you. Got him pinned down there, but at the same time, Fresno State, they're emotionally, they're sky high. I wouldn't be surprised to see a play action pass out of this somehow to the tight end or a back coming out in the flat. Last a, a rollout with Balasari with an option to pass or run on this with a good fake on the inside. Especially they have Derek Holmes in there in the backfield, number 43. He's kind of small unless he's going to go over the top. Balasari gives the Combs down to the goal line, and Fresno State makes another stop. The drive is over. Four chances at the goal line, and none of them come up with points. I tell you what, I, I, we told you about this before. Fresno State is no joke defensively. They can really come up there and play. And watch the penetration from the right hand of your screen there. You can see Dante Marsh come up there, number 27, oh no, 25 and 27. You got Marsh up there, you got Limbrick there, the all wag defensive back. They weren't even close to getting there. Again, credit Dan Brown, the defensive coordinator. You're not going to run against nine and ten people on the line of scrimmage like that. Gary Mc, UCLA, McIntyre, yeah. UCLA's offensive line's got to do a better job. That was Sanders and McIntyre who shut this down. I mean, they just stuffed it. Shane Moline, Khalil Bell in the backfield. Bell hit at the line, spun his way ahead. Marvin Haynes, that's going to be awfully close. You see the Bruins saying first down. That's the man shaking up, Haynes, who made the initial hit. And 
Haynes looks like he might have one of those stingers along the shoulder in the neck area. If you ever had one of those, they're not a lot of fun. Fresno State, the defense saying they didn't make it. Bruins offense saying, yep, go ahead. But you can see the yellow line there. Now, that's not official, obviously. That's us, but oh, and, and it looks to mark, be short. And the mark you know, indicates that they might be a bit short here. No, there's, yeah, I don't think there's any question. And it is short. And a big stop from Pat Hill's defense. Zach Brown in for Hill now. Brown. Had some room, and Brown is down to the one-yard line. Marvin Haynes came up again from his free safety position for the tackle. What was it Pat Hill told us the other day? He said, you know, if you see P.J. Hill going up the middle, that, that's a problem for us. We don't need him going up the middle. Been a problem on this drive. Zach Brown to stay in at tailback here. Tenth play of the drive. Wisconsin has scored 11 touchdowns and 14 red zone trips this season. Here's Brown. Ball is loose. And Fresno State says they have it. Let's see what the officials say. Fourth down. I'm a little surprised that Brown got that ball considering P.J. Hill has been the workman on this drive, and they've had trouble with him. Brown, who's not as big as P.J. Hill, takes a big hit there. That's a good call by the official. He was hit, stopped, and his knee was down. They work and goal, and P.J. Hill is back in. Not going to get there. Ben Jacobs. The sophomore middle linebacker coming in defensively. And oh boy, what a statement for the home team. Uh, Wisconsin wanted to make a statement about you want to play physical? We'll show you physical. And Fresno State answers with we got some physical football players of our own. Ben Jacobs, only 225, slips around to the outside, beats the fullback. On that play, it was Bill Rindmeister trying to get the block, and he wasn't able to get it. And Fresno State with an impressive goal line stand right yep. off the bat. Bulldog defense with a little bit of bar. Toughness is what we started with off the top of this show. Here's your chance at finding out who's tougher. Power game. Yes? No! Big stop on the goal line for the Bulldog D. Chase McGinty, the defensive tackle, the head of the spear. This is just about penetration. Look at all the Bulldogs right there. McGinty doing a great job of shedding his blocks coming up. And Fresno State on the road, playing tough for Pat Hill. if you go for it. They are going to go for it. Irby. He's going to get stuffed at the 50. He'll pick up a yard. Jeff Allison. That tackling machine is there. And Thompson Robinson doesn't get it. He tried to go wide. And Fresno State stones him. Lavelle Bailey and Evan Williams with a combo lottery ticket win on defense. Oh, that's... On fourth down, the Ducks go, stumbling at the line, and Fresno State is held. C.J. Verdell had trouble with his footing as Evan Williams coming through for Fresno State and also in on the play 